Hi, how you doing? This is Seth, and I'm back again to tell you about the next of my Feldenkrais Sunday workshops. It's coming up on Sunday, April 8th, and the theme this time is going to be Discovering Ground Forces, The Secret to Weightlessness. So what does that mean? It means something to do with how do we not only move ourselves through space, but how do we move over the surfaces that support us. Mainly this is our feet against the ground, but it could be other parts of our body depending on what we're doing. We're rolling on the ground or we're skiing down a mountain. Could be a number of situations. So we'll explore lessons that look at how we use the ground. And I want to give you, as always, a quick little taste of that. So here's something you can do at home. Um, before we continue, I'm going to switch the camera because it's going to be pointing at my feet. All right, so um, while I do that, why don't you take a little quick walk around the room just so you can feel how your feet are meeting the ground right now. In particular, pay attention to your ankles because that's what we're going to be working with. And I'll see you in a second. Okay, so you're looking at my right foot, my right leg, and you can follow along at home sitting in a chair. You're going to begin to take the right leg in and out. Feel how you do this movement in the right hip. And also feel how as you do this, just gently, you're feeling the pressure moving over under the bottom of your foot. But as the knee goes to the outside, the inner edge comes off the floor, right? And then likewise, the knee goes in and the outer edge comes off. And you don't have to do as big a movement as I was just doing to show you that. But feel how you're rolling in and out. And now go out so that the inner edge is off the floor. And then instead of putting the inner edge back by bringing the knee back, can you keep the knee to the outside, but do something in your ankle to reach the inner edge of the foot back towards the floor. Just do this gently. Depending how far you move the knee, you may not actually get back to the floor. The point is just that you're moving the foot, the inner edge, closer to the floor again by doing something in your ankle. Okay, take a little pause, and then you're going to do the same idea with the knee on the inside, moving the outer edge back. And you can see this is happening in my ankle. I'm not doing this. I'm keeping the knee to the inside and reaching the ankle back to the floor. Okay, try that a few times. All the movements, we just do them softly, gently, right? And now go back to taking the knee in and out, which again is a movement in the hip joint, but does the hip actually feel different after these movements of the ankle? Okay, now see, with this new vocabulary in your ankle, can you begin to take the knee in and out again? But now, see, I'm keeping the whole sole of the foot on the floor. So instead of doing this, as my knee goes in, I'm sort of reaching to keep the foot on the floor. And I'm reaching a little bit here to keep the foot on the floor. So feel now, if your ankle is alive, your knee can go in and out. And you can even, if you look at your foot, you'll see it, but you could probably feel there's a sort of an internal shift of the bones inside your foot. There's 26 bones in there that is allowing you to keep the foot on the floor. Okay. Last thing, can you now keep the knee in place, but lift one edge and lift the other of the foot? And you're doing this again just with the ankle. So we went through that pretty quickly. You might find some of those movements to be uh, a little more difficult, but you did your best, and now just stand up, walk around the room, see how do you feel your right ankle compared to your left ankle, which you didn't try this out yet. Okay, there you go. A little taste of working with ground forces. Does the ground feel different to you now when you walk around? If you enjoy that, uh, I hope I'll see you on April 8th. We're going to do a lot more. Okay, take care.